Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. You better watch what you say and do where big companies are concerned, especially if you have an issue with them and want to uh, protest them. Big brand name companies hired private intelligence firms to monitor political groups considered to be threats to their businesses, leaked documents reveal. The papers shine light on the shadowy world of corporate intelligence gathering. Now British Airways, the Royal Bank of Scotland, Porsche, and Caterpillar are among the companies that have been identified as having enlisted the services of corporate intelligence firms to spy on and sometimes infiltrate activist groups. Now, hundreds of pages of leaked documents from two corporate intelligence firms, C2I International and Inkerman Group, reveal widespread use of spies for hire among the large companies over, over several years in the 2000s. Now, the corporate intelligence firms obtained emails, meeting minutes, and other sp uh, internal documents from the groups they spied on, according to The Guardian, which obtained leaked documents in partnership with a Bureau for Investigative Journalism. Now, infiltration was also a common tactic used by the private spy firms. In one notable instance, a private spook dressed up as a pirate with a cutlass and eye patch as part of a protest. Hmm, I think I've seen that guy. Uh, the intelligence firms are also paid to provide advance warning about demonstrations or other political activity being planned against the companies. The leaked documents also show that C2I boasted of real-time intelligence assets embedded in a range of environmental groups, including Greenpeace. The firm's clients included Royal Bank of Scotland, British Airways, and Porsche around 2008. C2I changed its name before going belly up in 2011. Huh, that is, uh, that is fascinating, folks. The, the seedy underworld of big business, uh, as if uh, we didn't suspect something like this already. The corporate mafioso. Uh, keeping an eye on those who may do damage to their brand. Um, there's a lot more to this article, folks, so I'll leave you a link to it. And I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. I'd appreciate it. And most importantly of all, folks, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hi, this is Jim. Please allow me to introduce my latest fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer story. Fortress is an edgy and realistic fiction tale that depicts an America that is a far cry from that which your parents grew up in. God has been asked to leave the proverbial building, leaving the door open for enemies, natural and supernatural, to enter. As the nation stands on the verge of global and civil war and economic collapse, up is down, right is wrong, and a fog of deception has settled over the amber waves of grain. Lies are presented as truth, while those who would tell the truth are marginalized and persecuted. And could it be that those who disseminate the truth could have their very modes of conveyance taken away? If you're a fan of the alternative media and a watcher of world events, Fortress is a fiction story that just might smack of truth. It's available in Kindle and paperback, and it's linked below. Check it out today.